In this video we will learn how to make a thinner voltage regulator with pass transistor. If we apply an unregulated voltage V through a resistor to a thinner diode with a working voltage VC, between the terminals of the diode we will obtain the same voltage VC which will remain constant independently of the variations of the applied voltage V. Now let's see how to calculate the value of the resistor R. If we want a regulated voltage of 5.7 volts, we must use a thinner diode of the same rated voltage. And suppose that the applied voltage can vary between 6 and 13 volts. Note that the applied voltage must be higher than the thinner voltage. First we have to calculate the maximum current that the diode can withstand. This is obtained as the power rating of the diode divided by its voltage. If we use a half a watt thinner, we will get a current of 88 milliamps. The resistor is calculated as the maximum applied voltage minus the thinner voltage divided by the maximum current. With the values that we are using, we get a resistor of 83 ohms. Here we have our thinner diode, it's a 5.7 volt thinner and the resistor 82 ohms. Let me connect the multimeter to the output of the thinner diode to check that the voltage indeed stays constant. I'm going to connect the power supply. Let me turn it on. We have 6 volts applied to the circuit and the thinner diode is giving an output of 5.64 volts. If we increase the input voltage, the thinner voltage should stay approximately constant. 7, 9, 10 volts and the thinner voltage is 5.76 volts. If we increase up to the 13 volts that we have calculated, we can see that the thinner voltage has increased some tenths of a volt from the starting voltage of 6 volts. So we can see that the thinner is indeed doing its job of maintaining an approximately constant voltage at its terminals. This variation of one tenth of a volt is normal, it is not a perfect regulator. As an example, we have connected an LED to the thinner output with its respective limiting resistor and I am going to vary the voltage from 6 volts up to 13 volts and we can see how the brightness of the LED stays constant. However, one limitation of the thinner regulator is the little amount of current that it can handle. In the case of this half a watt thinner, the maximum current that we can draw from the circuit is 88 milliamps. In order to have a higher current, we need to add a pass transistor to the circuit. To our original circuit, we will add an NPN transistor as shown. Note that the final voltage will be approximately 0.7 volts less than the thinner voltage. This is because of the voltage loss in the transistor. Remember that the maximum current of our circuit was 88 milliamps. If we add a transistor, the maximum current will be multiplied by the minimum current gain of the transistor. For example, for a TIP 41C transistor, which has a minimum current gain of 15, our circuit will be able to handle a current of 1.32 amps. Here we have added the pass transistor to the circuit. It's a TIP 41C. Pins are base, collector, emitter. And the output of the regulator is connected to 
this incandescent lamp. And we also have the multimeter connected to the lamp to check the output voltage of the regulator. Let me turn on the power supply. Here we have 6 volts input, the lamp is on, the current is 250 milliamps and our voltage is close to 4.8 volts. Let me increase the input voltage up to 13 volts and we have, we have now 5.1 volts at the output of the regulator. That is, we have a variation of 0.3 volts approximately. The regulation is not perfect, but it's good enough for many purposes. If we don't need a great degree of accuracy in the regulation, this circuit is useful.